I just started. Good morning and a very warm welcome to the webinar organized by Department of Applied Sciences, Padua University. We welcome our guest for today, Dr. Nimisha Patitmadan from Maharaja Sayajirao University of Varodhra. Uh, Madam is a certified and highly credentialed educator who has completed PhD from Southern Illinois University and has 22 years of mathematical teaching experience at undergraduate as well as graduate levels to the students of engineering, computer science and applied mathematics. She is working with MSU since 2009. She has more than 10 publications in national and international journals and has attended many workshops and meetings and has given many expert talks. I welcome Madam on behalf of Paru University and I would like to invite Ma'am to start the webinar. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nityangiri. Uh, I, I'm thankful to the uh, organizing committee, especially Dr. Bhavini Pandya uh, and uh, the director uh, for giving me the opportunity to give the talk. Okay. Okay, is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Uh, now now okay, we can fine. see the first slide. Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Okay, so my uh, the talk of the, the title of the talk is recent advances in fractional calculus and its multidisciplinary applications. Uh, in which actually the fractional calculus arose when uh, the classical calculus arose uh, actually uh, in L, uh, in the later two L hospitals uh, in 1695 the question arose say why don't we have integer order why don't we have half order derivative so that is uh, if we consider say dy by dx so why not d raised to half by, by dx raised to uh, d, dx raised to half so in order to uh, give the answer to this question Many mathematicians, they worked in this area and the fractional calculus was originated. Uh, and right now, it is like uh, useful in many real world problems. So outline of my talk is fractional calculus introduction, preliminaries, applications of fractional calculus in different areas, well-known equations and their generalizations. So in the introduction, it is a branch of mathematics investigating the properties of derivatives and integrals of non-integer order. So I told that it is a fractional order. Fractional integration and fractional differentiation, they are generalizations of notions of integer order, integration and differentiation, and include nth derivatives and nth fold integrals. So it involves actually the methods and so methods to solve the fractional differential equations. And fractional derivatives actually provide an excellent instrument for the description. Yes, this is the important word. That is a description of memory and hereditary properties of various materials and processes. And that's why now, right now we can see number of applications of fractional calculus in real world problem. So historically, it originated from the Riemann-Weil de definition of the fractional integral order, that is alpha. So where alpha is the fractional order. So it is known as Riemann-Weil fractional integral. But before that, uh, we use actually to define certain definitions of fractional derivatives. We need some spaces, so we should have the knowledge of the spaces. So the space L of AB of Lubbock measurable functions ft on a finite interval closed interval ab it is given by lab that is a set containing f such that norm of f at one that is equals to integral a to b absolute ft dt which is finite another definition is absolutely continuous functions on closed interval ab and that is n times so that is ACN of closed interval AB is given by this one. So in the particular case, if we take N is 1, then we can get 
exponential, uh, ex absolutely continuous function on closed interval IB. So this definition, this space is needed as per the requirement of the definition of the fractional directory. Next is the definition of Sabello space. That is a bigger space. So right now people they are working on this space more because it allows to define certain properties of the derivatives. So for integers k greater than or equal to zero and one less than or equal to p less than or equal to infinity, WKP of omega that is given by this one in which this is L1 log. So that is locally integral function on L1 space of omega where omega is an open subset of Rn. And alpha the derivative of u exists and that uh, that is in LP of omega. So you notice that it is a bigger space, sub your space. So there is a node that is for k is greater than or equal to two. If we take here, that is a particular case k is greater than or equal to 2 and the value of p is 2, then hk of omega, that is nothing wk2 of omega, and hk of omega, that is called the Hilbert space. And this is very well known space. And mathematicians, they, work, they love to work in this space. So the preliminaries of the uh, fractional calculus is starts with spatial functions. This is very well known function, gamma function. It is given by integral 0 to infinity, e raised to minus t, t raised to z minus 1 dt. This is the reduction formula. This is also very well known. And this is the definition of beta function. Uh, then next important function is Gauss hypergeometric function that is given by 2f1. Uh, another important function is uh, beta Leffler function. That is one parameter. Here it is e alpha z and it is called one parameter. Meta Leffler function, in which uh, there is a this is a generalization of exponential function. It's also the uh, very well uh, is, is an entire function. And if we take alpha is one, alpha is two, then we can have this uh, that is the e one of z that is nothing but exponential z. And as you know that uh, whenever we consider the integer order boundary value problem or the initial value problem in the solution, we obtain the solution in terms of exponential function. And whenever we consider the fractional differential equation, so then in that case, we get a function. So this is a generalized version of exponential function. So naturally, we can say that the fractional calculus, this is an extension or a generalized version of the integer order derivative or integer order differential calculus. So e to z square gives a cosine of hyperbolic z and e to of minus z square gives us a circular function of z. Another definition is two parameter metagleffer function that is given by e alpha beta z. Again, in the special case, if we take beta is one, that is reduced in the in uh, the two parameter metagleffer function is reduced into one parameter metagleffer function. Uh, this is a very well known thing that uh, whenever we need to solve any different equation that is a fractional order, it is very much important. Whenever it is an initial value problem, it is very much important to know that is what is the Laplace transform of the function. So it is also very well established. So Laplace transform this function, it is given by uh, this thing uh, that is the right hand side as with uh, s to the power alpha minus beta upon s raised to alpha minus plus of here you notice that it is plus minus in meta Leffler function that is a uh, with a plus or minus lambda z raised to alpha and here you get the right sign that is minus plus. And that is the inverse relationship is also very well established. Uh, the fractional integrals and derivatives of so basically starts with Riemann-Lewin fractional integral. It is given by this. And you notice that there is an integral, a x. So this is very, very important. 
So here we have the two definitions that is left sided and right sided Riemann-Liouville fractional integrals and the order of alpha that is alpha is greater than zero. And here you notice that this is a kernel that is a power kernel. So what we can see here that is integration is a non-local operator because it is defining on an interval and it is suitable for constructing. So due to this non-locality of the operator, it is suitable for constructing dynamic models for long series where a memory effect can be found. This is very, very, very important thing. And due to this reason, we can see now there are many applications in real world problems. Then this has, it has the semi-group property. And the fraction integral of the power function that is given in, again in the form of power form. So that is given by, that is I A plus alpha of phi, that is phi is a power function. It is given in this particular format. There are actually different types of fractional derivatives. Uh, riemann lewell fractional derivative, uh, Kapito fractional derivative. I have listed very few. There are so many different, different uh, fractional derivatives available uh, in the literature right now. Uh, but it began with uh, riemann lewell derivative first, then Kapito derivative. And Hilfer deriv derivative, we will see that is a generalization of these two derivatives. Then grunwald lenko derivative, this is, a, a, this is a discrete version of the fractional derivative. This, these are the continuous version of fractional derivatives. Then Hadamard derivative, Riz derivative, Miller-Rose derivative, and Weil derivative, I listed very few that I told you. So note is important that all these fractional derivative order definitions have their advantages and disadvantages. And that's why, due to this reason, they are not applicable in all the situations. So different situations, we can uh, we can deal with the different derivatives, fractional derivatives. Next is about the Riemann-Will fractional derivative operator. Here you notice that this is d a plus alpha f of x, in which now the function is integrated first and then differentiated. So in the form of integral, this is the notation that is a fractional integral. This can be denoted in this way. So this is the power, uh, this is nth derivative. And where n lies between, uh, actually alpha lies between n minus one and n. So that is actually n is integral part of alpha plus one. Here also we have the power kernel. Now you just notice that integration is there in the definition of the derivative. So that's why it is very, very important whenever we come across to the numerical solution of the particular problem, then it is very easy to discretize this integral as you notice in what integer order systems. So that is a plus point for this particular derivative that is fractional derivative. So again, we have left side and right side derivatives, that is Riemann level derivative operators. Uh, there is a, uh, like, if we have derivative and if we take the integral of derivative, then this is the, this notation. It is not like that uh, the integer order system, we have the, like, uh, derivative, and if we take the antiderivative, then we get the derivative itself, the, the, the function, then the function itself. It's not like that. So this is there. <clears throat> Sorry. Next is about the riemann level derivative of the power function. It is given by this formula. And if we consider the special case, then we, we notice in a precise way. So if we take alpha between 0 and 1, then it is denoted in this way. So we can see that function is integrated first and then differentiated. So it involves integration. And integrals are of convolution type. See? This is a kernel and this is a function. So they are in the convolution type. Kernel is a weakly singular and it is of power law type. And the riemann level derivative of the constant, that is not zero actually. It is this notation. And 
in the ordinary case if we are taking the ordinary derivative of the constant it is zero so the ordinary derivative that is defined at the point particular point while this fractional derivatives they are defined in the interval and that's why it has got the memory that is stored in that particular integral so due to this memory effect it is applicable in the real world problem so due to that that is uh, whenever we take the derivative of the constant that is riemann liouville derivative of the constant we are not getting the zero so physically it is not uh, associated means it is not linked directly whenever we have the boundary conditions or initial conditions at a point zero so for that there were the generalizations and modifications of the derivatives and the capito derivative capito fractional derivative was introduced so again we have in this case this c stands for capito fractional derivative and in which the function is differentiated first and then integrated and it is denoted in this way again we have the two definitions that is left side and right side fr uh, fractional derivative and these are the properties this is for riemann liouville derivative and this is for capito derivative but in this case you notice that the function should be in that particular species then and then only this will be possible so here it is f belongs to lp of ab and here f belongs to c of ab means sort the space of our continuous functions on those integral this is the relationship between the capito fractional derivative and riemann liouville fractional derivative let me point it out that is whenever we have alpha between 0 and 1 then to these two derivatives coincide and in that case if we take alpha is 1 then we get our integer order derivative so again we have these two things that is uh, for left side and the right sided capito and riemann liouville derivative relationship so this is this note is important that is the initial conditions whenever we consider the fractional differential equations with capito derivative operator then the capito derivative has a have a clear physical meaning and capito derivative that is why it is extensively used in many applications particularly in engineering applications there is a very well defined uh, integration by parts formula because integral integrals are there in the definition of fractional integral uh, fractional derivative and that's why it is very much important to know about the integration by parts formula uh these are like fractional derivatives of some functions i have noted very few so if we take the ft that is function is constant then if we take the riemann liouville derivative this is the value that we already seen this is not zero and but if we take the capito fractional derivative of that function of that is constant that is zero If f t is t, then this notation, and then if f t is sine d, then we are getting this hypergeometric function. Uh, in Hilfer fractional derivative, that that is again a generalization of Riemann-Liouville and Capito fractional derivative, in which now uh, that beta allows to interpolate. Actually, that beta lies between zero and one, and interpolate continuously between the classical Riemann-Liouville fractional derivative. and capito fractional derivative so whenever we take beta is zero then it reduces to classical riemann liouville fractional derivative and if beta value is 1 then it reduces to capito fractional derivative so fractional differential equation that is the differential in uh, equations that involve fractional derivatives so very simple example that is bugley torvik equation of oscillatory process with fractional damping you notice that the damping is in a fractional order we can see in fractional differential equation that is od is that is ordinary differential equations as well as partial differential equations 
they can be linear and non linear and existence and uniqueness of solutions are very well established analytical solutions are difficult to evaluate but there are dedicated numerical methods are already available they are developed there are methods to solve fractional differential equations i have listed few analytical methods in which we uh, we can have a fourier transform laplace transform mobius transform complex wave transform homotomy per per perturbation method a domain decomposition method etc and in numerical method these are the methods mainly fractional euler method predictor character method finite element finite differences method with modification without modification so actually what happened we we saw that uh, in hilfer derivative that is the generalization of riemann liouville and computer fractional derivative but again the kernel is a power kernel so the mathematician they thought that why not power, why power kernel why not another kernel and then recently computer fabrizio fractional derivative operator is introduced and that is in which it deals with the function in sobolev space in which the kernel is exponential function uh, kernel and where m alpha so cf stands for computer fabrizio fractional derivative operator in which m alpha it is a normalization function such that m at 0 equal to m at 1 equal to 1 and here this derivative has the exponential decay see here it is exponential of minus sign so it has exponential decay kernel which allows it to describe materials in heterogeneous media this is very very important and that's why again there are more applications of this computer of uh, this uh, fractional derivative operator recently we can see that is atangna balyan fractional derivative operator so here you can see this is the generalization of earlier version that is uh, in computer fabrizio case we have exponential kernel and here it is e alpha that is metaclear kernel that is a generalization of the exponential kernel again we have this abc alpha that is given in this particular notation but mainly if we see here the kernel is non singular and non local so if you see that non local non locality then the memory is stored and hence due to this memory because memory uh, property it can be useful in many real world problems the non locality of the metaglyphal kernel allows better description of the memory within the structure and media with different scales so recently this operator uh, is like we can see many many re uh, research papers on this atangna balyano operator uh, they they are useful in many many applications we will see the fractional integral associate to the ab that is atangna atangna balyano derivative with non local kernel it is defined in this way and uh, when alpha is zero then we recover the initial function and if also alpha is one we obtain the ordinary integral and let us see about actually there are very uh, there are many more fractional derivatives but i have listed few and i am explaining few uh, but if we see uh, due to the constraint of the time uh, let us see about the applications that is fractional order first application is fractional order speech model so speech signal modeling is entirely based on integer order model so it is known as linear predictive coding that is lpc and it is given by this particular model where this d alpha i x that is grunewald letnikov derivative so that is a discrete version of the fractional derivative xn is the n sample long speech analysis frame and this grunewald letnikov derivative it is defined by this particular notation which is the step size 
the impact of the fractional order speech modeling it is proved to be the saving of storage that is uh, required that is for the particular parameters so that can be useful whenever if we uh, if we use the fractional order speech modeling another another application is fractional rc electrical circuits so the governing od is given by this one where v is the voltage r is the resistance and c is the capacitance and okay there is a type is mu t that is a source of volt so if we consider this particular transformation that is the by it is denoted if we take instead of ordinary derivative coupled of fabrizio derivative is taken and alpha between 0 and 1 is taken then this particular model can be uh, can be obtained and in which there are there is a paper there or there are number of papers and in that particular paper it is noted that one can obtain the voltage vt for different values of alpha and it is more stable than the integer order model next is the next is the application that is modeling of children's physical development so in one of the papers this particular model is taken in which this d alpha fx that is again a grunewald latnico fractional derivative operator in which f of x corresponds to the data of children's weight height and body mass index with respect to time which is denoted by x so in that paper actually uh, what is done that is data related to seven groups for discrete height body weight and body mass index of the data was collected for a uh, below 18 years 0 to 18 years old children it was uh, it was considered and after analyzing and using the list square cow techniques and they obtain the continuous cows and they analyzed that it provides the opportunity to predict expected values of the children for the future by using previous data obtaining the development of the child process so we can see how it is useful that fraction calculus is useful to model children physical development also the another application is recently the pandemic is there that is covid 19 so to using the mathematical uh, modeling using fractional derivative operator we can say that is this so, uh, these are the uh, fractional differential equations in which we can have that is simultaneous fractional differential equations in which n is the total number of people and that n is segregated into uh, Into the uh, into the into S C E T I T A T. These are the stages. That is R T and Q T. Where in which S is the susceptible people, E E is exposed people. This I is I stands for infectious and they are uh, symptomatic people. asymptomatic and infected people r stands for recovered people and q is what the people they are in quarantine phase and that n is nothing but the sum of all these subclasses so there are number of mathematical models uh are uh, we can see in the literature from 2019 to 20 still 2021 recently also and people are working with uh, fractional derivative operator that is bit of fractional derivative operator riemann lewis fractional derivative operator and recently atangna balyan fractional derivative operator so in which we can notice that memory features of fractional derivative explore hidden dynamics of the infection in the mathematical models of infectious disease which is not possible to 
relies with integer derivative so that it helps to prevent the disease and sp uh, the spread of the disease next is the application to analyze the economic growth modeling that is in economics so a variety of fractional order models have been proposed in the literature to account for the behavior of financial processes from different points of view so in which now this is a particular model in which this d alpha k that is again the grunwald letnikov fractional derivative operator in which ck that is nothing but the constant weights y is the gdp and xk they are the variables and we notice that they are different fractional derivatives orders because this is a sum so these are the variables they are microeconomic indicators on which the output depends so that is a uh, for example if we take uh, actually here x1 to x9 the variables are taken and for example x9 equal to x5 that represent the impact of investment in the economy so the fractional the conclusion is the fractional models have a better performance than the integer order model models next application is to geo hydrology so we have already seen that middle leffler function that is a generalization of exponential function it incorporates the effect of memory which is fundamental to investigations regarding ground water flow and that's why it is used in hydrology geo hydrology department a geo hydrology branch so the memory effect is imperative to account for because it is essential for a water molecule because there is a path so you should remember like from where it originated so it, it has to remember the path so that is a memory is there so its path of flow within a fractured network so as a result for an occurrence a accurate representation of a mathematical model this is actually the mathematical model is with fractional order and you notice that this is the dt alpha h of rt means so this is a fractional partial differential equation with these conditions and here this is a riemann lewis derivative next application is diffusion wave equation that is very very well known diffusion wave equation it arising in uh, even civil engineering problems so there are many many branches of ground water flow a ground water flow system is associated with significant heterogeneity see this is this is like pattern heterogeneity and that's why this uh, instead of this ordinary uh, ordinary models that is ordinary integer order models if we take the fractional order model that can deal very very nicely so that's why the mathematical model of radial ground water flow to or from a well well is given by this in which abc that is a atangna balyano copied of fractional derivative where a and b they are the ratio of immobile and mobile section porosities with the total porosity and this is the relation that is a plus b that is equal to 1 and alpha that lies in between 0 and 1 beta is also lies between 0 and 1 and they are nothing but the fractional derivative parameters for the mobile and immobile sections and df is the fractional diffusivity and h is the normalized ground water depth so there are uh, the formulas that is for laplace transform technique the formulas are very well developed even now fourier transforms they are also very well de developed for most of the fractional derivatives 
because they are useful to get the analytical solution so in this particular model the analytical solution is determined using laplace and dirichlet weber integral transforms and the influence of the fractional parameters on radial groundwater flow that is analyzed by numerical well, calculations again you notice that this is a fractional partial differential equation this is a, again very well known application that is tom lewis boundary value problem it arises in many many uh, uh, means elect, uh, that is engineering field as well as in science physics chemistry means or in all science and technology areas so it arises in the study of problems on simple harmonic motion vibration of stream signal and image processing wave propagation heat conduction etc so this is like a very well known equation uh, with the with this initial and boundary conditions so this is like integer order system but now we notice that this is a fractional stomlewil boundary problem in which now the Computer of fractional derivative operators are taken with this subject to this boundary conditions. So by considering different values of a1, a2, b1, b2, one can have the boundary conditions in which for particular boundary value problem alpha is taken in zero and one, and p, q, and w alpha they are given functions. where w alpha that is a wave function you notice that w alpha that is again a fractional part right such that p belongs to c1 that is the space of all one time continuously differentiable functions p of x is greater than 0 and q and w alpha they are continuous and that wave function is always positive there are other applications that is fractional mass spring damper system that is described by generalized fractional order derivatives uh, i have not noted the models due to the time constraint fractional derivative models in biomedical and underwater sediment fields so in biomedical uh, medical let me point it out uh actually the tissues in the uh, in our blood vessels right uh, so there are tissues and if we uh, there are actually integer order models are already available but now since the fractional derivative operator has the important property that is of memory due to that it is useful right now also it is useful in heart surgery uh even to study the behavior of uh, blood flow so whenever we have the dynamics in the system then instead of the integer order system if we consider the fractional order case or the fractional order model then it gives the insight of the particular terminologies so this area that is in my biomedical area fractional calculus is very very important and it is applicable in recently fractional order proportional integral derivative that is pid controllers has proven to be very effective to improve the most important performance indexes of any motion system such as precision bandwidth that is a speed and stability of motion so that is more important in electrical and electronics engineering system uh, branches uh, then use of image processing for age detection it can improve the criteria of thin detection so if we consider the fractional calculus or fractional order systems uh there is a classical case but to to now visualize how how this works right that's why i have taken this particular case that is classical case in which we can see that diffusion equation that is a 
first order partial derivative and that uh, uh, del u by del t so that is with respect to time the uh, derivative is with respect to time and this is a source term and the wave equation that is second order partial differential equation right but now if we want to study the mixed behavior that is what diffusion and wave then we can think about the fractional version so here i have taken the generalized diffusion wave equation and its solution so generalized diffusion wave equation it, it is defined by b operator so actually that was introduced by uh, my professor mr magrava he is in a uh, 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 southern illinois university in us and uh, he introduced this abk operators so why he introduced actually so in which actually mostly we have seen that is the uh, the kernel is like uh, that is the power kernel then the exponential kernel meta leffler function so why not another kernel right so depending upon the situation one can have the flexibility and uh, if we have the property if we can uh, prove the properties uh, of that particular kernel then we can have another kernel so for that we uh, the, he introduced this kernels that that on um, this uh, operators that is abk operators they are fractional operators so this is the generalized uh, diffusion wave equation uh, we consider in one of the papers uh, and uh, we take the parameter set like this that is p is the set containing uh, this one and alpha lies between 1 and 2 and uh, this is the kernel that is uh, and this is the definition of b operator in which now this is a kernel and that kernel we took that is uh, particularly this particular uh, problem we considered and uh, we we took the kernel that is exponential kernel of this particular form right and uh, we developed the numerical method and we solved it and we considered these two cases uh, that is uh, the boundary value problem where, with this bound, these conditions that is case number 1 and case number 2 and we obtain the analytic as well as the uh, numerical results in the case 1 that is uh, we considered uh, alpha is 3 by 2 and x equal to half so with different time so you notice that uh, the fractional derivative that is with respect to time so depending upon different different uh, time we can have different values of u uh, we uh, we do we obtain the analytical as well as numerical solutions and the error you can see that is very 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 less right uh, another thing is for case number 1 but uh, changing the alpha alpha is 7 by 4 so that is close to 2 earlier one was close to 1 and now we will see that this is a comparison of analytical solutions of case 1 that whenever we take alpha is 3 by 2 x is uh, 1 by 2 and different values of n so we obtain the analytical solution for the case number 1 that is alpha is 3 by 2 so that is in middle so you see that this there is a wave and diffusion both so that is a mixed behavior but now whenever we increase our alpha values that is close to 2 so it is just like close to wave equation so the main thing is whenever we are uh, we we are uh, the alpha value is close to 1 it gives the diffusion behavior and if it is like close to 2 it gives the wave behavior and if it is in between then it gives what mixed behavior so that is like we can easily say that if we consider the fractional derivative operator model then we can see the insight and we can have the results for very 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 minute things right so it gives accurate results so in case number 2 if we consider alpha is 3 by 2 then it is again a mixed behavior of diffusion and wave equation and this is alpha is 7 by 4 it is likely clue very close to 2 so it is like wave behavior so these are the references i have used so these are three books 
that is a book by kilbas book by polomni and this is like a book bible in a fractional calculus that is by sanko kilbas and meritim so i have listed very few books but right now recently there are number of books available on fractional differential equations fractional calculus its applications thank you very much yes if you have any questions any questions from the participants side yes if there are any questions yeah i think there are no questions so i would like madam oh, for from the like and knowledgeable talk thank you ma'am yeah actually uh, due to the time constraint i can say that uh, I, I i must have added more applications but i think this will be useful for the young researchers in their areas and i want to point it out that is not only mathematics it is like multi disciplinary uh, thing that is the mathematicians can collaborate with uh, other branch other branch uh, experts right say for example if the experts are from economics area they can also collaborate with mathematicians with medical area uh, if they are like uh, from uh, commerce background science background or any background means because there are number of applications of of it so one can have the collaborative work uh, in this particular area yeah once again i want to uh, i am thankful to the organizers of parul university thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to give a talk and uh, give the insights of uh, my area of research yeah thank you so much ma'am yeah, and i would like to thank one and all who are part of this webinar yeah thank you so much have a great day okay thank you thank you very much